actually, real quick, I do want to go back and address one more thing with this previous example, our cosine. And that's that we notice from our unit circle, whenever we have one possible cosine angle, so with our one half, we also see the same angle on that right side just below the x-axis. Same thing happens on the left side. If, say, our cosine was negative root 2 over 2, we have another negative root 2 over 2 on the left side. We can generalize a formula for this. So for cosine, if we have one angle, an angle theta that's a solution, the other solution is going to be negative theta. Or we can write that negative theta as 2 pi minus theta. So for cosine, our two solutions are theta and 2 pi minus theta. And then we can add 2 pi to all of those thetas as many times as we want to. For sine, if we have a sine, the corresponding sine value is on the other side of our circle. So if we're on the right, the other one's on the left. So that would either be 0 plus theta or pi minus theta. Thus, our values for sine, if theta is one solution, the other solution is pi minus theta. Something you might want to write down on the back of your trig identity sheet. Now for tangent, if we figure out one of our thetas, For example, let's say we have tangent of theta is 1. That means that sine and cosine have the same value, which occurs at the 45 degree. The other time they have the same value is a directly across the circle. So we see that that happens for theta, and then also for theta plus pi, or pi plus theta. And that always happens for tangent. OK, back to our next problem. And this will be applicable in this problem as well. So we're going to solve the equation tan squared x minus 1 equals 2. First things first, we want to get tan squared x alone. So we're going to add 1 to both sides. We then get tan squared x equals 3. Now to get rid of that square, we're going to square root both sides. And we end up with tan of x equals plus or minus the square root of 3. Now remember, tan is sine over cosine. So we're going to look at our unit circle, and we're going to determine where sine over cosine would be root 3. And that's going to happen, nope, not that one. That would be cosine over sine. Here we go up at pi-thirds, pi and then also at 4 pi-thirds. In general, though, we see that it happens at pi-thirds plus pi times n for some n is an integer. But, remember, our other solution is a negative pi, uh, root 3. Our negative root 3 is going to happen at, let's see, here we go, 2 pi over 3. So we also get theta is 2 pi over 3 plus n, or plus pi times n. There's your solutions for tangent. Okay, so in general, what I want you to be writing down, make sure you have note of this, cosine. When we solve for theta, our solutions then are theta plus 2 pi times n and 2 pi minus theta plus 2 pi times n. For sine, once we have theta, our solutions are theta plus 2 pi times n and pi minus theta plus 2 pi times